Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Big Ten boasts some of the most storied programs in the history of the sport, and the entire league rises because of it. Early season action in the Big Ten. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He's to the 20. Whoa, he just took a lick at Indiana's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cost. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. The Hoosiers always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Throws this one out to the right. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Cavalry's coming. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. Brown comes away with two yards on the scramble. They come out in a five-wide set. Pressure coming. He chucks it downfield. The throw caught. Touchdown. for by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 68-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Holmes on the handoff, and he's tackled around the 25-yard line. He 
He's got an opening. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 48. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Back to him, and he gets nothing this time around. from their own 48-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 49. Sets up a screen, tailback has got it. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of 23 yards. That makes it first and 10. Room around the corner. And he's taken down at the 16. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. One yard loss for the halfback. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Bobcats saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Lateral's back. They'll bring him down at the 18. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. Recovered by the offense. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He throws. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. the tight end gets so open on such a big play. That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Mech is lined up to kick this one off. Fry takes it at the 8. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 34. No game on the play. Got time, and now he might want to take off. Heading for the corner. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Good awareness on that scramble there. They dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down. Complete. 
brought down, nothing doing. No game. That makes it second and ten. Three down, three down. Cody Ace and Mike. That's it. Blue 19. Blue 19. He's taken down at the 43 yard line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Mark 38, Mark 38, Mark 38. And down he goes at the 42 yard line. Play action. Now he's on the move. Brought down in the open field. Play number nine of this current drive. Makes the grab and out of bounds. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs them to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down to the ground. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. We're at the 12th play of the drive. The Hoosiers saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Complete knees hit hard. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Ball is loose, fumble. Offense falls on it. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Indiana is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it's good. Burgess has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Down he goes at the 31. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. 
The Bobcats have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. It's third and five. Ball on their own 35. Quick toss. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Hogan to punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Indiana is up by three. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. his way to the 40-yard line. Throws it, and it's tipped away. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. From the 40-yard line, second down. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. There's the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. He heaves it deep. Picked off by the senior. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. They'll line up at the 11. First down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Wilson is his intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Four down, four down. Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled right around the 20. That's good for a game of three yards. Four down, four down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. And he's tackled right away. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Shot, the defender tips it away. From their own 39 yard line, it's second down. Catches it, and he's punished.
Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He's knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Indiana's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here, and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over and to see that their go-to wide receiver is not putting up these big numbers, and yet they still have the lead, just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the team makes this receiver stepped up. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Indiana holds a field goal lead. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. He'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Going long. So we played two quarters. Indiana leads it 10 7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. From the seven, he's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 33. Indiana's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. That's good for being able to run the yards. That makes it first and 10. He has some room. He's at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. He converts the extra point. Mac ready to kick. From the five yard line. Brought down at the 30. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Yeah. Hey. 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 Watch 
chance to throw outside. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 42. for a nice run. Done. Get six yards on the carry. Crosses across the middle to his tight end, and he's taken down around the 30-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play-action patterns in college football because play-action it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position, and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and a receiver to pick up big yards like we just saw there. That makes it second and ten. From the 30-yard line, second down. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the nine. and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 71-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play column on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 17-14. Burgess looks ready to kick this one off. Taylor fields it at the one, and he's tackled at the 25. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in the third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for him, seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 30. Slings it. Tackled for a loss. Certainly they don't have the return on here. the corner. Vogel fields it at the 39, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 48. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackle made right around midfield. 
That makes it second and eight. Indiana has a three-point lead. And a quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. Third down. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Hey, watch that, Jay. Watch the ball. Hey, check, check, check. Oklahoma. Check. Hey, check, check. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. That'll make it fourth and six. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Little handoff. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Steps up at the 26-yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it fourth and four. Tackle at the 48. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Indiana is up a field goal. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes, around the 43-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Tackle around the 35-yard line. the stop around the 25 yard line that's three down and one to go indiana's got a three-point lead all right we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This kind of execution from the offense can really affect the defense in their sight. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. They'll bring him down at about the nine-yard line. Indiana is up by three.
Short over the middle. Touchdown, Indiana! That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taylor from the seven. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. He tackles him for a loss. Yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. And that one's incomplete. You know, he's been working really hard lately on this fundamental. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching and worked with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's tackled at the 50, and he gets a yard on the run. This safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. It's second and nine. Ball on the 50. Just under three to go in regulation. Run right side. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. That makes it 37. They come out in a five wide set. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 40, and he's tackled at the 38. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Done. Gains around six yards on the run. Ohio's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Gets out to around the 22. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From the 22-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. rid of it quickly. Throws complete touchdown. The Hoosiers coaching staff's got to walk around on a daily basis going, man, I'm glad he's on our team. Well, it's great to see him on their side. Not only do they not have to defend him, but they find unique ways to get him the football. And every single time they find a way to get him the ball, he seems to score touchdowns. And he adds the extra point. 
Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Sooners roll into today's game ranked number seven in the country. Here's a hotly contested battle. The Sooners are out front, 7-0. In other action, let's take a look at some scores from around the country. And for Texas Tech, they find their way to the promised land first. Cade's strength as a runner has carried him into the end zone for a touchdown. The Red Raiders are out front, 7-0, early in the first quarter. Our score, 31-14 here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Just under two to go in the game. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. To the 20. There he goes. Touchdown, Hoosiers. Down from the defense, and this one looks like it's going to be over. He makes the PAT. Indiana's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. So the offense will come back out onto the field hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And they push him out at about the 35. Gain of 11 yards. First down. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's hit immediately. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. A little over a minute in the game. He airs it out. Missed him. Incomplete pass. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Quick toss. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense, but the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. He's hit and taken down. Personal foul. Base man. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down. They're inside the five. Quick pass. It's 
So there's the quick pass to the receiver for six. And the receiver does a nice job here of fighting off the defender to get to the ball. That was a nice pitch and catch. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Unable to convert that two-point conversion on the ground. So a seven-play, 72-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So the score now, 38-20. And he's taken down at the 42. Illegal touching. touching. Offense. Offense. Still first, still first down. down. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. We have less than a minute to go. He takes a knee. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball in 34. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, 38-20, Hoosiers. That brings this broadcast to a close. 3A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.